when they are grabbing uh, Malaysian, uh, this reached the six months. Uh, this six months uh, will was selling about uh, 600 million uh, revenue uh, for the Malaysian uh, tourism uh, part. And also we have the, the 20 million visitors was thinking about the information and also the production on our platform for Malaysia. And also we have uh, 300,000 paid UV, that means they buy it from our platform uh, for Malaysia. And also we have uh, over 1,000 uh, 1, merchants now already selling about the uh, production on our platform for Malaysian market. Uh, so we want to double that uh, within the year uh, 2017. So we need your efforts, and uh, we'll do our best in efforts to make it happen. Yeah, thank you. This is the price, the house your product. So you will, you, you can see that um, it will, this, this main page is actually going seasonal. What I mean is, from time to time, there will be a promotion going on. Uh, whether we go in line with Tourism Malaysia's promotions or we can also go in line with the uh, uh, Alibaba's promotion. For instance, like uh, uh, maybe May, um, October is the golden week for the Chinese. Um, that's the, the week that the majority of people has passport will leave the country. All right, So that will be a good opportunity for Malaysian players to grab that piece of cake. All right. In this case, then we'll probably run the promotion a bit earlier, say June, uh, July, to run promotion here to make sure that they book for the October, um, um, October one week of Golden Week. Yeah. So this page, main page in general is they are seasonal. So uh, they run by category. Um, I'll give you an overview here. So maybe the first part can be shopping theme for next month. Uh, since we're going to have a mega sales in, in June, that's where we can have the shopping theme over here. Um, all right, uh, we're going to just very quickly browse through the main page and then I'll just dwell into the products, which is something more relevant to you. And one thing I need to highlight the difference is to distinguish the mall from the OTAs. If you supply to the mall, uh, OTAs, I'm not saying it's wrong, but I'm just saying that at our place, you can actually promote your brand. All right. If you provide interesting product there, you can distinguish yourself. This is your brand. All right. Okay. So we just uh, browse very quickly. We browse down to the bottom just to let you see how it looks like. All right. And then we can just dwell into the, uh, the the product page. So what I discussed just now. This is the main page of that all, and you see the one highlighted in box is your product. Yeah. Okay, if, you, if, the, if the Chinese user, uh, the Chinese consumer, uh, browse our website and they like particularly that product, they click onto it and it will bring you to, to the, the product description itself. Again, the product description is actually specifically addressing your product. So this is the place that you have to dress really well to attract your attention. We all know that um, this is a virtual thingy. They can't feel, they can't see. So it's based on your the, the, the pictures that you produce, the attractive pictures that you provide, and also the uh, the features, the significant, uh, the uh, special features that you have. It has to be carried out at this first part of your product description page. So they come into here first thing they look at. There are few things that a few components that you have to pay attention. The first one is the. Uh, uh, what you call the uh, the title at the top there? This is actually uh, require uh, analysis as well. It, it looks simple, but it's not actually because majority of the uh, um, visitors coming to your website is actually through search words engine. So your title got to be really um, is it some common title that been searched by common Chinese. So they search that they will see you. There's a high possibility of seeing you. Okay? So this is something. Our team in China will be, have, will be able to help up in putting the special uh, wordings and the common search wordings for your product. And the second thing is, the second component is the uh, pictures on the left hand side. And that one again is, is hoping to, to get this from you. You have to give us this interesting uh, uh, pictures, beautiful pictures. Um, Chinese user will just look at the pictures and they get a feel of it, inspire them through the pictures. And then if, uh, it has to be something value for money. So when you look at your beautiful pro pro uh, pictures, which distinguish yourself from 
any other conventional products. The next thing they look at is your price. Cheap doesn't mean good. They look at the price, why your price is not cheap. They will go down and look it up. That's where you have to put effort in your pictures and the product descriptions. Okay, and the next one. And then the, 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 the other components that we require from you as well is your calendar, your inventory calendar. So when you provide your products to us, we need to know what is the uh, number of the locations you allow for us to sell. Um, you can do it up to six months, one month to six months, no issue, and you have to be by then. So every day you just have to allow us how many units we can sell, so we just put it up there, all right? And you can have price variation as well. Again, um, these slides will be extended to you once this uh, event is over. So at least you can't see it here, you can still read them when you get an email, right? So the calendars on the left-hand side actually tells you every day you can have the price variation and you can also have the stocks variations. So certain days you know you're selling you have already sold some from different channels, you can make adjustment here, all right? And then also the, uh, the left-hand corner on the top is actually telling you the, turn, the committed turnaround time. Um, that thing you have highlighted just now, um, because Chinese are very tech savvy, um, a lot of things can be just one click away. You are not expecting to take more than 10 seconds to get a reply, so I'm kidding you, sorry. You can have it for two hours, but I would suggest no more than two hours to do the turnaround. So when you accepted the yeah, order and you can't fulfill, there's a hefty penalty come along, which I will explain to you again later on. So this is actually the uh, policies, cancellations, and uh, standards imposed by Alitrip. You just have to comply, yeah? So um, the turnaround hours will be two hours, just bear in mind. And then the, uh, the other one, the small box at the right bottom, I know it's a bit meaningless, but I'm not seeing what they are, but I'm just trying to explain them to speaking to you guys. All right, the, the bottom left is actually the number of stocks available for, for that particular day. All right, so which means, and then that drop down box for them to click which day they want to depart, they want to enjoy your services, yeah? And then that, that is the thing they click, then it will tell you how many stocks available right by you guys, all right? And this need constant updating. And part of the uh, product description page as well is uh, another key component, uh, which is customer service, and it has to be life. Um, they don't go through customer service by phone call, um, they all go through uh, the real-time messaging. We call it real-time messaging. So from our part, we will have a team of six to eight people located in Chinese, in China, sorry. They're all Chinese speaking Chinese. Um, they will have to do the live um, uh, customer service with them. So a lot of the questions related to your products will be uh, converse through this channel. And these live uh, customer service actually platform provided by, is part of the Alibaba in, uh, in front. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> it's not very clear. Um, apology for that. Um, this is, again, from your product. Through the history of selling your product, um, every customer enjoy your product. After they use your product, they will go back and put down review. Okay, this is something I want to highlight as well, and also I want to get your attention. According to Alibaba's data, all right, 90% of the consumers at Alibaba platform read reviews, all right, and 88% trust the reviews, and as much as their, their personal recommendations. So even they don't know who you are, but you have a lot of recommendations, positive and excellent reviews, you're likely to close the deal. So this, what's that means then? It means that it's the, uh, what we call the reputation trait for your services, for your products. So reliability, quality, and professionalism are very important. All these will be highlighted in the review, the joining NTP. I'm gonna read it out, I know you can't read it from the far end, so I'm gonna read it out to you. This is actually, uh, in, in, uh, in line with the four components that uh, Dr. Yang mentioned about. Um, the first one is the annual subscriptions. Um, this will go in, 
we, we will go in accordance with the number of products you listed up with us. All right. The first column here is one to three products. Second column is four to six. The last column is down to ten. We only limit to ten for the time being, just because um, you know we, we, we just want to want you to go through the incubations, to go through the products that you provide, and then from time to time you can improve yourself. We we, we do not want like thousand other products at the end of the day. Um, they are just the conventional products that you can find anywhere. All right. So this is the, 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 the objective of that. So this under these three columns, the first component is the annual subscriptions. Um, we are expecting, we are actually, um, this is the, 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 what we call, well, don't call, quite call early bird, but this is the first one we'd like to open to everyone, come on board first. Um, the, first the first column, one of the three uh, products, the subscription fee is 1008 alright? And this only paid once a year. And this has been mentioned just now, the components, um, the role we in, in invested on this, on this, on this cost. And then the second column is three thousand. The last column is four thousand. Right. And then the second cost component is the deposit, and this is refundable. So if you decided to pull the plug and retreat completely from our mall, this money will be refund, fund, will be refunded to you. And the reason also why we keep that is because there's these penalty uh, clauses implied by uh, um, Alibaba, should your products go haywire in terms of reliability and the quality is, doesn't match what you committed in your product description, uh, they will impose penalty. <clears throat> so the deposit merchants, uh, deposit will be uh, 1,000, 2,000 and 3,000 re respectively for the three columns. And then the third one is the booking fees. Again, the system is based on a successful basis. It's only chargeable when your product is being sold by us. Uh, the charges, so uh, I will give you a bit more details because it will, it's actually breaking down by different product category. I will talk about that in the next page. Similarly to the Ali Trip charge as well, I'm going to give you a detail how Ali Trip, uh, Ali Trip charge by products. So at least you have an idea when you're doing your calculation to know you have to pay all these components. It's an Ali Trip charges. Booking fees is the one in the middle column, and on the last column will be the early trip charges. And then the product categories will break in, uh, is actually breaking down into hotel packages, attractions and theme parks is under one category, daily tourist activities is under another category. Um, we have 12 packages, shopping vouchers, services vouchers, and f and vouchers. Um, and the charges for the booking, booking fees under all this column will be hotel packages 20 ringgit per pack. So if you have the hotel packages being booked through us for two person, then the charges will be for, uh, 40 ringgit for two packs. Alright? Uh, and if you have more questions, if you have questions related to that, we can have, we're going to have a one Q&A session after the tea break. So at least you have some time to think through your questions, pop in your questions and then follow up to us later, yeah? Okay. And attraction theme parks, uh, similarly, is 20 ringgit per ticket. Uh, for daily tours and activities will be 10 ringgit per pack. Uh, for tour packages, is 20 ringgit per pack. Uh, and for all the vouchers, anything to do with shopping, FMB, and the service of vouchers, actually 30 ringgit per transaction. All right. Um, in terms of early trip charges. Uh, for all the travel related products in terms of hotel packages, attractions, tours, daily activities, they are charging approximately 3.5%. Right? As I said, this is not just the transaction fees. There are a lot of other fees that we accumulated and put onto that column. So the, the details of that has already been explained. Uh, Dr. Nian, yeah? And then for the shopping and services voucher at MB, uh, uh, they are four percent being charged by, by Alitri. Again, there are few components under that, not just just, just transactions under Alitri. There are few other things as well. All right, it's actually elaborated in uh, uh, in Dr. Young's slide. Policies it has to be determined by you. The product is yours. You're only listing the things onto our product, so we would leave the cancellation policies for you to decide. Uh, but having said that. Should the uh, cancellation fees 
um, charges upon. For instance, if you impose a policy cancellation policies, say um, if the Chinese user cancel the trip 15 days before they they they, they come, then there will be 10% uh, charges implied. Yeah. Uh, whether the 10% is, is in, in your case, you get a 10% back, but for us, because we have uh, done the work, we have mobilized the people to help you to close the deal, but unfortunately, it doesn't get through to the end to close the deal, uh, we will still be charging 20 ringgit for cancellation. All right? So you, you have to decide your cancellation policies. Uh, I can give some example later what are the other trip imposed in terms of you cancellation cancelling in terms instead of the user cancellating. Um, this is what the uh, Ali trips standard in terms of the service guarantee standard. This is what I'm saying. If you can't keep to your reliability and the standards of your product that you have committed, all right, the, cl the clients come over, customer come over, enjoy a product that they. They, they, they were not satisfied, they went back and they complained and then Alibaba will come in to investigate and uh, should the case prove it that it's in, it, you, you cancel it before certain days that it has been, you know, they're it, it, it coming and also in the circumstances that you do not provide the qualities that you have committed, they're going to impose charges to you. I know it's very, um, they will kind of like bring up our customer service and they will communicate with the customer service to understand the, 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 the quality of the service and then uh, 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 what exactly you're offering. So once they're clear about it, they will go ahead to make payment using Alipay and Alitrip platform. Yeah. Once they have done the payment, they will fill in their personal details, the name, the passport numbers, when they're coming, any special requests, you know, like kids, uh, you know, uh, 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 call back call or something like that. So they will make all these things through this. And then this, this information will be shared to us as operator of the shop, shared with us uh, via Alibaba platform. And then we will call you up. This is why Dr. Um, mentioned that the customer service is important because um, it can come in any time, any time, any day. So even after office hour. The, the inquiry will come through. And then once this booking is done, we will call you up to double confirm the availability. So within two hours, we have to turn around and go back to them, look, yes, we have availability, book, done. Just wait, wait for them to come over to enjoy your product. If it's, you don't have the availability, within that two hours, we have to inform them and we have to cancel their order and the money will be refunded back to them. So this is, this is how it's been done. Pay, you know, when they the, the, the money is only paid when they come over here and enjoy the services. It's not the day they order the product. All right, it's the day they come to redeem and fulfill their, their their purchase. From that day onwards, it takes about uh, seven days from from Ali Trip to pay to our Ali Trip as Ali Trip Central to our Ali Trip. No, sorry, Alipay Central to our Alipay, sorry, your pardon. And then from Alipay, takes another four days to transfer to our China account. And then from our China account, we take another four days to come to Malaysia. So in total, it takes about, about 15 days. And then, which means that we will refund you, we will pay you, we will do the settlement with you at around 15 days, okay? So that is the indications. And then the, the thing is, you give us your uh, the products and uh, uh, tell us how much you want to pay in ringgit, so we will pay you in ringgit.